Good morning, East Texas. I'm Sarah Miller, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. Jerry Sandusky described his career in retirement from Penn State by video link today as testimony began in a hearing into whether he can get back the retirement benefits he lost after being convicted of child molestation. The proceeding at the headquarters of the State Employees Retirement System in Harrisburg involves the pension he earned while working for decades as a Penn State assistant football coach. From a prison in southwestern Pennsylvania, Sandusky began by describing his career at Penn State and talks with school administrators about a possible continuing role with the university around the time of his retirement in 1999. His wife, Dottie, was in the hearing room for a proceeding that could last several days. Here are the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. Freezing temperatures that broke record lows in the U.S. continue for a second straight day this time spreading to southern and eastern parts of the U.S. 13-year-old Jahai McMath, who was declared brain dead after a tonsil surgery a few weeks ago, arrives at a new location, but the family isn't saying exactly where she is. The U.S. Senate confirms Janet Yellen as the first woman to lead the Federal Reserve. She will replace Ben Bernanke, who is stepping down after serving as chairman for eight years. And in college football, Florida State's Jameis Winston throws the winning touchdown in the last 13 seconds against Auburn, making Florida State the winner of the BCS national title game on Monday. Salima Saeed, the Associated Press, with AP News Media. Now here's a look at your local weather from meteorologist Scott Fossey. Your forecast today on this Tuesday around the East Texas area. We're starting off very chilly again this morning with temperatures bottoming out in the teens. Pretty close to some record breaking temperatures across the East Texas area. We tied a couple yesterday in Tyler and Longview. We'll be close to that today, but I don't think we'll shatter temps that were set back in 1910 through about 1912. Hasn't been this cold on today's date for quite some time. 36 by noon today. Sunshine this afternoon will be warmer today by about 10 to 12 degrees. Yesterday Yesterday we only topped out in the lower 30s. Today we're looking at about 43. Temps slide back down to around 40 by your drive home. Another cold night in store for us tonight. Not quite as cold though as the last couple of mornings due to that Arctic high pressure system moving off to the east. Now our next weather system moves out of the Colorado Rockies and by this time tomorrow morning we're looking at a slight chance for a bit of a freezing rain mix around East Texas. Watch the bridges and overpasses for any accumulation until about 9, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Our high tomorrow 44. Thanks for watching and check back throughout the day for more news updates.